I thought I'd go through purple today, the colour purple, and um, talk about how to make different shades of purple. Now, anytime you add a blue and a red together, you're going to get a different shade of purple, depending on the colours. So, now this is, or should I say, violet. So this is the violet, this is the earth palette violet. I'll just put it over here so that you can see it, but it's so that it's out of the way. Okay, so this is the earth palette violet. Right, now, so the first, the first one we'll do is, um, so the colors I've got here, I've got the earth palette pink, the red, Rubine, the turquoise, the blue, and the sky blue. Now any of these blues mixed with these reds will make a, a version of blue of purple or violet, whatever you want to call it. So perhaps we'll start with the um, pink. Okay, we might just use the cup of pinks in. So to the pink, we might add, for instance, the sky blue. And I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. I might even use a spoon so we don't drip it everywhere or add too much. I should have put that in a container, shouldn't I? Oh, I have got some. What am I doing? Right. Then we're going to put that one out of the way over there. Okay. So, now as you can see, once you start adding the blue to the pink, you start getting a different shade. It's not the pink. Okay. We'll put a bit here. And it's actually a pretty good colour. So it's more of a cherry colour. But if we add a bit more blue, this is the sky blue, we'll add a little bit and mix it. It gradually gets darker and you keep, if you keep adding the blue, it'll start to get more of a purpley shade. So I'll add one more lot of blue and see how we're going there. Not quite our purple yet. I'll just clean up my mess. And one or more of them. Now it's quite, they actually is quite a pretty shade. But it's not the quite the purple we're looking for yet. So if you're making your own colours, just keep adding a little bit at a time until you get the colour you actually want. I would call this a red violet. So it's almost a rubine colour. So we'll add one more, see how we're going. I have another paper towel here to show you. So we're definitely getting to purple now. And where you stop and decide to use it is totally up to you. So this is the sky blue and the pink. Do one more. Quite a nice purple now. And we'll add another one. As I said, when, where you decide to stop and start with your purples or at mixing your colours is totally up to you. So I would stop there. I think that's a pretty good purple. And I would use that one. Okay, now the next colour we might use is red. So we might use a, a new, no we'll use the same one. So this is the red. Now red is not so much a pinky red, it's more of an orangey red, more of a scarlet is what I would consider the earth palette red to be. And this time maybe we'll just add the, the blue. Instead of adding the sky blue, we'll just add blue. 
And I reckon we're going to need a couple of spoons, but we'll start with one. And as you can see, it's definitely not purple yet. So we add, we might actually add, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Definitely not a purple. We might add a little bit extra and see how we go there. So this is more, more what I would call a getting towards that plummy sort of colour. So if that's what you're looking for, stop right there. So this is blue and red together. That's actually quite a nice colour, but we will keep going until we're actually happy with our purple. And I might add two. One at a time is just not getting there. So. Okay, that's actually quite a nice colour actually. We might add two more. So when you're making your colours, and making a mess, just feel free to wipe it up and continue on until you're happy with the colour you've got. Okay, so this is red and the, the blue, the earth palette blue. We didn't put the colour we started with though, so we might just put a bit of that on here. So that's the colour we started with and this is the colour we've ended up with once we've added blue to it. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that colour. I would consider that to be more of a plum aubergine colour than, than, a, than a proper purple. Okay, so what's next? Rubine. So this is rubine, which is almost a red-violet colour. Make sure we're clean here. I'll add another paper towel so that you can get a good look at it. Okay, now we'll put this colour on first before we start. And then this time we might add the turquoise to it, which is a blue, a shade of blue, and it's what I would consider to be a cool blue. Where am I gonna show you this? Okay, we're right in the center, okay. You stay there. Now, we'll add just, we'll try and add one, we might add two. Mix it up, get it up the sides. Have a look at this colour. How cool is that? So this is turquoise and rubine mixed together. Now we'll add another spoon of the turquoise. Mix it around. It's just a darker shade of purple. We'll add another one. This is turquoise. We're adding to rubine. Now, as you can see, we're just getting a pretty good shade of purple, really. So if you take it too far and add more blue, let's just say we add, I've got, okay, perhaps we'll add three spoons of blue here, or of the turquoise, sorry. And then you start to get more of a blue purple colour. We'll add a bit more. It's verging on the on the blue side. We just tip the lot in. Okay, so it's still a purple, but it's more of a instead of being a, a red violet like a a pink purple like these two, it's getting to be on the blue side of violet or blue side of purple. Okay, so just remember, you're in charge of your dyes. If you're looking for more colours to put in your dyes, then feel free to mix your own and do a bit of experimenting. So the last, oh no, that's that three. Okay, so if we change it, let's change, let's, let's start with rubine again, because it's my favourite colour. And this time we'll add the blue instead of the turquoise, all right? So we'll start off with two because I know it's gonna take a bit because rubine's a reasonably dark color. And we might move these and clean up a bit after ourselves. 
so I can show you this one right here. going to see this yes okay so so this is rubine with blue added instead of turquoise and you see it is once again making a red violet color and if we add a bit more of the blue we're getting purple my blue jars run out and my, oopsie, and my lids leaking Add a little bit more of the blue. And once again, we've got a really lovely purple. So feel free, have a crack at experimenting. Just use, these are just little disposable takeaway cups and disposable spoons. I rewash them and use them over and over again. These ones I think are about three or four years old. So um, it's pretty cheap to try. Paper towels, pretty cheap. So do your experimenting and, and, and make your own colours. You know, you're the boss of it. As you can see, this one here is what's called splitting. Occasionally that splitting happens when you're dyeing fibre or yarn, but generally it, it just um, stays the whole colour. Okay, but if you like that, then have a crack at it yourself. Okay, thanks for joining me. Feel free to give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe. Um, I've got a few other uh, videos that I'm hoping to bring in and I might even wear gloves next time. <laughs>